All right, so uh, we're here in uh, my little office uh, with completed CNC machine computer that I built specifically for this job. Uh, and a lot of crap on the floor. Don't mind that. Uh, just here, been pulling up uh, Moxery. Awesome program. Works so great. Wouldn't do without it. But I'm going to set the camera down here as I uh, plug in all the motors and get everything set up to show a demonstration on how the motors spin and how, the, how it runs it. All that good stuff. Plug in the parallel port into the back here. Now mind you, um, this will all be mounted inside of its own cabinet or an enclosure that I choose to build. Haven't decided yet. We got spindle power. I don't have the spindle hooked up just yet, but I have tested it and it does work. It's just a simple relay with that can handle up to 36 volts. And I'm only pushing uh, 24 in, so uh, here we go. Going to apply power to my power supply, and we're going to get it up and running. So, as you can see, uh, I'm running a uh, NEMA. 17 motors. Uh, they're only uh, 60 ounces, but uh, I decided to go cheap with this with this setup. That way, I can make a better one in the long term. But uh, they are wired as bipolar, and uh, as you can see, the two center taps are omitted. Now you can tie those together and put them to a ground. So if you want to wire them in a unipolar, uni, unipolar mode, but we're not going to get into all that right now. But uh, here's my board, a little Chinese made board here uh, with the uh, two LEDs that's showing uh, two power at the post here. And uh, there's three LEDs next to that that show uh, x-axis, y-axis, and z-axis uh, movement. Uh, also, a serial connection. Uh, Mainly for uh, you can plug in uh, game controllers, joysticks, MPGs, things like that, uh, if you want to control it manually. And uh, this little white plug in here that is for uh, your limit interface and your e stop. Uh, this one here is actually for, uh, uh, if I'm not mistaken, I think it's for uh, the MPG uh, and the serial, it's for game pads only. Uh, the three uh, micro stepper driver uh, micro steppers that are located underneath the uh, heat sink and fan. Uh, they're Toshiba models, and uh, I think uh, I think they work very well with these uh, small motors. But uh, I heard they do very well with larger motors. But I'm not going to get into that until I get to that point. So uh, along next to it is the uh, 24 volt power supply. Uh, simple, 24 volts uh, out, 120 in, um, 10 amps maximum. Uh, it's really simple. Uh, I bought it, bought it off eBay, just like everything else here. Uh, but I'm very happy with all the setup. So very professional. So here we are. We're going to do a little test here, and I'm going to let you get on your way, so I don't bore you. So uh, here's my. Y or uh, Y axis, yes. Yeah. All using control mints of the keyboard. Yeah. That's all I'm doing. Here's my X axis. And my Y axis. Oh, sorry. My Z axis. Uh, my, uh, my drivers are set to. Uh, half-stepping mode right now. Uh, if you want to get a smoother 
um, more torque driven uh, motion out of your motors. Uh, drop them down to a 1 8 step or a 1 12 step and step up your RPMs. Um, so many ways you can get uh, the power and everything you need out of, out of any size motor. You know, it depends on how patient you are, how much income you have. So, uh, this is pretty much what's going on here. Um, very soon, I'll be uh, working on the uh, lead screws and uh, bearing setups for uh, my X, Y, and Z axis so I can mount the motor and I can actually get some uh, movement out of my machine. Uh, when that time comes, I'll uh, give you all a holler and keep you all updated. So, uh, stay around.